what time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok, too. And let's get this movie reviewed. Alright, if y'all haven't seen it yet, last Friday Eurovision dropped on Netflix. It stars Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams. Number one, this is, seems like another Will Ferrell comedy, which I love. You know, I love me some Talladega Nights, the Step Brothers, and all those. So it reminds me a lot like that, which I don't know if people are getting tired of of, of, of what. But I enjoyed it. I liked the movie. And I'm going to tell you, Rachel McAdams really stood out in me with this one. She's so cute in it. And just it just shows her acting chops. Also in it is Pierce Brosnan. Right? Like, I wouldn't think of Pierce in a movie. Like, a comedy like there these Icelandic people. And, and ever since Lars was little, he wanted to enter the, the Eurovision contest. Uh, his partner in the singing is Rachel McAdams. They grew up from little kids and everything. And his, his dad is played by Pierce Brosnan. Throughout the movie, they keep referring to like uh, Lars and, and Rachel's uh, character Sig Sigrid as brother who's like, well, that's your sister. And he's always like, probably not. And she's like, we're not, we're not. But Lars's last name is Lars Eriksson. Eric's son, you know, like Eric is dad's son. And then the secret's last name is Secret Eric's daughter. So right there, that just tells you the kind of comedy, the, the little underlining comedy this movie has. I enjoyed the singing. I mean, they had songs in there. I was just cracking up. I, I was enjoying it. I was, I, I mean, hello, if you don't finish watching this movie and not singing the Ya Ya Ding Dong song, you, you just didn't watch this. They also had Dan Stevens, which I haven't seen much of him. I did watch some of the Legion he was in, and I liked that, but I hadn't even finished season one of that. Now I want to go back and see it, because Dan Stevens in this place, this other it's like a Russian character Alexander and he stands out for me I am now a Dan Stevens fan because of him in this movie it was just he was great in that role you felt for I had one complaint about this it was two and a, two hours and like 10 minutes long they could have cut this movie a half an hour and it could have been a great movie it was just too long for me this kind of comedic movies they they don't need to be that long this is just too much it's too much this is another one of those movies like the first time i watched it i was i was i was enjoyed it you know i thought it was funny and sweet and had some but the second time was even better because a lot of the jokes you kind of just pass over and miss the first time you watch it again and you're reminded of those and you crack up even more so if you've seen it let me know what you think comments thumbs and all that until next time y'all